Yeah. Some people say you have a lot of grand plans for Bacolod City and perhaps a single term is not enough. Well, uh, I will not be totally, if, if any of those five options, aside from uh, running for re-election, I, I will, it, it, it still can prosper, it can still be pursued, no? Yeah, because uh, I think uh, my, my style is I always get uh, the buy-in of stakeholders. Hindi lang bila ako ang mag-decide sa, oh, ari na aton himoon. Although at the end of the day, you make that decision. But ang process of uh, arriving at that decision, gina include ta mga stakeholders. So, hindi lang, uh, first, that they know kung ano ang muna himoon. Second, may ara sila uh, buy-in. Kaya kung may buy-in sila sa imong uh, uh, direction, sa imong vision, sa imong objective, there will be uh, support. And we know that it's very important nga mga stakeholders involved, no? especially uh, mga bakulod nun, once there, there is support for it, mas hapos implement. I first talked to you three years ago, uh, yes. almost exactly to the month, and I remember you telling me nga ang imo pagdalagan was somewhat a call of duty because mm -hmm. the call was too strong to neglect. Yes. And of course, I remember you saying the city was drowning in corruption. How is Bacolod now compared to that time when you talked to me? Ah, uh, I, I believe that there's been more, uh, we are now more transparent in terms of our financial transaction. In fact, you know, when, when we secured our loan, you know, uh, even before our actual application, even if before it was uh, approved. No? We have announced this several times in media, in social media, uh, just to solicit the uh, consensus man sa mga stakeholders. And uh, as far as uh, ang mga financial transactions sa, sa city, we have made it to a point that we use uh, technology no? as the center piece or, or platform for every transaction. That's why Miskin magpadala ka di sulat, magpadala ka di request, magpadala ka di sang uh, kung ano man mga documents. It's being tagged with a QR code. No? Ang atong nga business permit, may QR code. Ang tanan nga mga government uh, uh, documentation is, is, is uh, uh, with QR code uh, so that it becomes transparent to all. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, one of the reasons I think corrupt, corruption will, will thrive kung wala transparency. Patronage politics was very strong that time, I, I remember you saying. And one of the points of control was the cash was. Hmm. Uh, how is it now? Uh, cash was job orders. No? In fact, may, we, have a very standing or, we have a standing order nga tanan sila must be working. Okay? Just like, actually, just today, no? Uh, may nakita ko nga mga iban nga mga cash walls wala pag uh, uh, gasunod sa ato nga time in time out through biometrics so I'm asking our MI and our, our point person sa mga job orders our sectoral group to ensure nga tanan nga mga job orders pass through the biometric system of time in time out kay asang una ano malang eh uh, mas grabe gani sang una isa ka tawo dason siya na mabahala mag payroll sang mga pila ka individuals and can you imagine the, the temptation kaput mo ang kwarta sang mga 100 to 200 nga mga job orders uh, that one is 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 prone to ano prone to temptation uh, so we have uh, moved from that kind of system to uh, ATM so, in the ATM, mm. ma labot gid sa job order ang mga sweldo nila. Kag wala, hindi mag-agi, miskin kay sino nga paymaster o payroll person. No? And now, we're now checking naman on the DTR. No? Ang time in, time out nila has to be a system. Kay siling nila, ti, sawayon ta lang. Kung if we see somebody who did not follow the rules, so for, who are kapalapaw bala sa mga... Uh, ginasertify nila nga nag-ubra nga hindi wala gali nag-ubra uh, even if we call that attention it might happen over and over again so ang ato na naging butang da, as, uh, as uh, to mitigate that kind of uh, circumstances we asked all job orders to time in time out through biometrics those things that 
might be too negligible for some people. Mm. But that is what you call as part of institutional governance. Yes. Uh, how, how far are you into reaching that dream? Uh, we have set the foundation and uh, planted the seeds for all of those plants. No? Uh, MI was a very small department when I came in. In fact, I heard nga daw may plano to sila i, 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 you know, reduce from a department to a division kaya they couldn't see the need. So, buong MI is one of our uh, most important department because uh, of, uh, of the technology that we use to ensure all of this uh, process and transactions uh, city government is above board. So, right now, full, full uh, complement get ang department and they have, I think, 14 or 15 uh, programs that they have to put in place uh, for, from, from various, ano, from various uh, processes and transactions that the uh, city do. I remember you telling me that story about that woman sa Central Market, that old vendor, who cried while she was asking you to run. Hmm. Do you think that Nanay is happy now with the way but you are running. That's what I said city. early on. No? I did not see her after oh. the election, but uh, I was told that she was okay. Naman. No, okay naman sure. And I hope you do see her once again. Yes, we will try to uh, we'll yes, sir. look for her. Sir, the uh, platform was very simple. It was change. Mm. And I remember Lee Kuan Yew in Singapore. Uh, very, very appropriate to you. Mm. And uh, yeah, but mas, do you think... It's a lot I mean... He's an idol, he's a mentor, he's a uh, ano na na siya, uh, legend. Na na siya. Oh, so you do idolize Lee Kuan Yew? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. But, but you seem to be taking that same path mm -hmm. of uh, modernizing the city and making it world class. But do you think the Bacolod Don is ready for your vision? Mm. When you say ready, it might be too drastic. Uh, the change that we're looking at, we're not doing that. No, there, there, it, it takes a, uh, you know, th there's a transition process for change to happen, and uh, you just have to be uh, vigilant in ensuring uh, sigi sigi ang imong uh, uh, pagtulod sa change. No, for, for example, uh, when you, you mentioned patronage politics, asang uh, unaya when you ask for ayuda, when you ask for assistance from the city government. Uh, it is the mayor or the elected officials that will personally, no, they will have to personally uh, receive those uh, assistance or those support. No? Uh, and, and because of that, no, uh, they feel that that is the way to win an election. No? Okay, you know, Filipinos are very uh, strong sa ginatawag nga kabalaslan or utang na loob. No? So, kung ikaw ang uh, bulig na da, you can always claim, oh, when election comes, ako naman ang imong uh, bawian sang, ano, sang ako nga ginbulig sa imo. And that creates the patronage politics system. Uh, the dilemma with that, I actually don't have any personal problem with that kind of system, but the, the biggest problem with that is it can only help so much. Mm -hmm. What if there is 1,000 people who need help? You cannot personally give that 1,000. Uh, so that's why I said uh, it is better for the institution because the institutions would have personnel, would have uh, computers, would, would have all the logistical requirements to be able to service the 1,000, 2,000 or even 100,000 uh, people who would need assistance. That's the reason why I said, you know, if we were to uh, uh, look into the future, institutional building is much better than patronage politics. Well, that might be okay for, a, for an agenda. Yes, but then for a, then for a, for a highly city. urbanized city, hindi mo na masarangan eh. No? Let's, let's say, kung may isang kabalay na, tanang kabataan mo, pwede yung ihatag. Pero kung uh, ang imong uh, hatagan is bilog ng asyudad, hindi na pwede nga uh, abo na ang sistema. So mainly, uh, as of now, you feel nga ang change is mainly because, one, you have the back chip. The back, back chip, chip is one. Mm -hmm. uh, as I've said, no, aside from back chip, kunin, may mga funeral naman ta nga, gina, nga ginbutangan. Because I saw that, you know, when you apply for funeral assist, burial assistance, 
uh, submit ka sa mga requirements, makanto ka sa city hall, and by the time a process na, it will take probably a month or so, or kung kisa gani, three months pa, ang horror stories nga mabatihan ko. So, by the time three months, ano mo nang imong uh, no? uh, loved ones, hindi mo na pwede maghulat. Right? So, ang uh, matabo sila, makanto sila sa mga financial institutions, mahulam sila at a tremendous uh, interest rate. No? Ang muna usaroon nila. So, by the time nga mabato nila ang ilang uh, assistant from the LGU, ano na sila? Uh, Asta diri na sa utang sa ilang agin hulaman. So, th- that's the reason why I said, instead of the individual or the family waiting for the assistance from the government, let the funeral parlor wait. So, mahatag lang kami guarantee letter. The funeral parlor is hatagan na service. And by the time we finish the process of uh, uh, required no? uh, processing of payment, either it na lang sa funeral parlor because they can wait. Mm. The family cannot. Ini nga mga butang do amo ning mahangpan sang aton mga kauturan nga mga bakulod noon nga ordinaryo but you have changes also like the land banking plan hmm. uh, the land banking program which should require you to loan money yes but of course i would say there's only some noise about this what do you think about this is this only brought about by politics or you know uh, mostly yes no mostly it is uh, some political uh, quarters no uh, trying to highlight nga utang uh, property because nga akin alam mo bakal property nga, you know you have people donating you have people giving the city what they need for example this city hall no mm-hmm. this city hall is is uh, uh, so, so donated by a family and 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 uh, uh, wala bayad i should add so we are a recipient of a donation but the problem is as we see today 15 years hence you know we lose out to appreciation sang sang uh, property beside so in other words if you look at it from a business point of view or from from a financial point of view you might have been better off buying this property mm-hmm. okay putting the city hall here and uh, enjoying the appreciation of your of your uh, additional lots so, kung gani, we're looking for additional lots kay uh, nag-expand kita sa legislative building, di naigo ang, ano, naigo ang atong uh, the football field to. And mm-hmm. I know Bacolod needs a lot of parks and open field. So, where do I put it now? No? So, well, we're now yeah. looking at <laughs> uh, across the street, across uh, mga neighboring uh, vacant lots, kung pwede ta i-convince sa mga property owners to uh, convert it to a park. But you know, but with, with the prices of home, that's that's kind of a tall order. But that is vision. Hmm. What you're doing is well, that's leadership why. So, with so vision. In, you know, in other words, they may not understand it today, Yes. but then in the future, they will see the benefit of it. But then that might be too far in the future for them to understand. And, uh, eventually, they will understand. <laughs> but you also have this plan to grow Bacolon, literally. Hmm by adding land through reclamation. That is so very Singapore. Well, we also see the need for a, you know, you know uh, for, for a city to develop, we need investments to come in. It cannot be, I keep saying this, yeah, ang money in circulation will only be so much. Okay? Kung ano ang current money in circulation, then ang matabo sina, there's no major development because the money will just circulate among our... Uh, uh, economic system but if we have new money coming in that will grow and that is what we mean by growth mm-hmm. when there is more money in circulating in the in the economy of the city there will be uh, a growth that that comes with the entry of this new uh, investment so as we bring in more investment we will develop further so how do we bring investments? Of course, they look access. Access is one of them. So airports and ports. Right? So uh, the biggest uh, contribution of uh, reclamation is to be able to create uh, more uh, efficient ports that we can... Uh, uh, yeah. Bradco is already a, a good example. Right? Uh, yeah. the, the development of Bradco has really contributed to the economic benefit of 
the city. But then again, uh, you have grand plans for Bacolod. You, you spell it out and you, Im you have implemented some. But coming from the corporate world, do you sometimes feel a bit of frustration because you can only bureaucracy. do so much and move so much? Definitely. The bureaucratic red tape of government sometimes is, is frustrating. Not, not sometimes, it's very frustrating. Kay uh, balaan mo naman uh, though redundant na gid galing kay kinadlan mo magagi sa process and that is a contribution of uh, uh, decades of uh, well anatabo kay since people take advantage corruption starts when you give too much freedom so anatabo sina to curb cor corruption para madula ang corruption butangan mo sang check and balance Mm. And as you create more check and balance, you create a bureaucratic red tape that makes it difficult for people to implement things. And amuna, eh. that that's that's the history of of uh, Philippine government, no? The tamaan sila ka adverse sa corruption that they want to make sure nga wala corruption. Okay, we'll just put check and balance. And sa kada sa check balance, ang consequence na gahina kita. It's another kind of corruption. <laughs> so that's another, exactly. You can call it that. No? Yes, so yes. Uh, uh, now we're re realizing it. That certain laws are now being changed. Ang atong procurement act has already been changed. Ang atong uh, uh, other, uh, other systems are now being uh, revisited no? uh, because of this uh, hardship in, in implementing a lot of things. And then you have to look at it. There were what, three years in term? Years. Uh, we can run another three terms. Ang president, six years. You, you can already see that you, you don't have enough time for long-term projects. I was asked by one of the uh, Taipans, these uh, Philippines. No? So, yeah, uh, the problem with, with the business sector is how do you invest you know, in a big project okay? when you only have six years to deal with? Some of these projects takes longer than that. Yes. Planning lang and execution will probably take already six years. Like the Manukan country. How long did that take? <laughs> so, so they say, you know, you commit to this investment, you don't know the future political environment because there is an election every uh, six years or three years. Your first three years definitely was not absent of, of issues and controversies. But what makes you happy? During those three years, what made you happy? Happy? Yeah, in public <laughs> well, service. <laughs> well, public service is, is something as a commitment. No? It's, 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 a, it's a, as you said, Call of Duty, it's a passion that uh, you know, I like because it, it gives me a sense of fulfillment, especially if you uh, But I think ang ako niya pag sabat, ang ako niya pag respond sa mga issues no? is something that I do not let, sweep it under the rug. Babay ilanda. No? Hindi ilang tanay magsabat, hindi ilang tanay don't take it up. Every issues nga gagwa, every time, even in social media, kung uh, mabasahan ko lang ganini, I mean, take this up. Look at it. What's the problem? Right? And then we, we discuss and talk about it. No? So, it, I think it's the way we have approached ang mga issues and, uh, well, complaints <laughs> sa, sa among. Did you ever regret that decision, Mayor, of running in Bacolod City? There are times nga, sa ko, ah, naman yung ginahimo ko, di ba? You know, why go through this kind of uh, scrutiny? Why go to this kind of, uh, of uh, situation where you have to answer every little thing you, you know the, uh, the, the position of mayor is really a jack of all trades that you have to attend to every uh, aspect of uh, the city's concern you, know, you have to be a doctor okay, because you have a uh, city health department you have to be a lawyer because you have certain legal you have to be an engineer because of course the infrastructure is, you know you have all of these departments under you okay and you know, like in the corporate world, there's certain expertise and you stick to that. Here, I have everything. So I have to be a little of that, little of this, to be able to, to effectively uh, uh, manage the city.
Does that make you miss Congress? <laughs> well, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, anything more, Mayor? What more do you want for the city of Bacolod? Uh, we have just started. We just planted the seeds of uh, our, our future plans, no? our vision. And uh, as soon as we have crystallized it into a uh, piece of document, no? we are now in the process of finalizing our master plan uh, for, for Bacolod. And uh, may juta pa nga mga uh, inputs nga kinalanta i, ano, i, uh, isolod to. No? I, I'd like to call all of Bacolod non, mga large uh, property owners, big businesses, uh, all, all mga small and and medium uh, uh, business individuals, ang tanan nga mga sectoral groups, uh, to be able to see no, exactly what I'm envisioning for Bacolod. It, it is not just talking. It's not just uh, uh, explaining it or, or verbalizing the, the vision that we have. We are putting it in a piece of paper. So for whoever in the years, in the 10 years from now, there is still a guide. Uh, whoever will take over uh, the leadership of Bacolod. May aras lang nga basihan nga. Ti amun niyang, ano, amun niyang uh, ang uh, ginsuguran sa uh, this administration. And this is what uh, we can use as a guide moving forward. And you just made me more curious. Hmm. Could you give us a glimpse into that master plan, sir? The master plan focused on two things. One is uh, mobility. When you say mobility, mobility in terms of uh, development of of, uh, of uh, uh, people, inter uh, how they interact with, with uh, uh, the different establishments and the different areas of the city. So, not transport, right? We're looking at mobility. And then the other one is environment. So, based on these two concepts, how will Bacolod grow uh, in terms of uh, achieving the status of what we call super city? That's interesting. Why environment? Environment should be the core uh, principle of any development because if you are not aligned with the with, uh, preservation, maintenance, and, and sustaining environment, you will have problems. You, you, you create an infrastructure that is uh, against uh, uh, naturally accepted environmental practices. So that's a green super city? You can say that. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. I know you have started to... I'll give you an example for that. So, at least I'll, I'll a bit be more uh, specific. Yes, no? sir. Um, flood is one concern. Mm -hmm. Flooding. Right? So, isa sa mga gina-propose sa aton nga urban planner is instead uh, of uh, creating mga drainages nga ano, no? Uh, we will create bias whale. What are these? These are uh, like uh, water tanks. Can you say that? No, mapundo anay ang ano ang uh, ang tubig dito. So do may mga uh, reservoir bala sa so, mga iban nga lugar. On top of it will be greens, uh, trees, nga pedi beautification sa city. Sa so, dalom will be like a huge water tanks where uh, ma collect anay sang mga run of water and then. Amat amat man i pagwaon sa mga drainage. That one we don't. We just put straight drainage, diretso sa outlet, sa, sa outfall, and then out to the sea. No? But that then, would be a first in the Philippines. The, yes, I talked to DPWH, saying you know, they have, they've seen this before and mm. uh, it might be the first in the Philippines. So, initia, it's not just completely getting drainage. Kaya gan drainage, you just made it faster mm. for, for the run of water to come down. So, kinalan pun dun, i punggan mo anay siya sa certain areas. So, amat amat ng iya nga pag release, uh, especially sa lower areas. So, that's why some, some areas in Bacolod where we still have greens, you know, we will make sure sa atong city planning that it will stay green. It will stay with a number of trees. You know? We will not allow. Uh, overdevelopment in those areas. But you have started the tree park na in Felisa. That's one of them. Wow. So we'll see more tree parks. Yes. Kung nakita mo ito sa design, kung may water or not. That's, that's, that's what we were looking at. Wow. Mm -hmm. But then again, how can all these be realized if 
you are not the mayor anymore. You know, th this will not even happen in, in uh, six years or even nine years. Nine years. It's going to take longer than that. What we're trying to do is plant a very uh, strong foundation that when the stakeholders themselves say that this is what we want, this is the direction that we will go, no political leader, no political elected person will go against what the stake, what the what constituents would want them to do. So, what we're trying to say is locking in our vision, our uh, uh, plans, no, with the constituents themselves. Once this thing is 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 uh, officially and uh, well, may 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 ano na may may agreement na may understanding na kung ano ang ato nga plano. Sila na mismo ang ano eh ang uh, mahambal kung sino mga kapungko. Nga hindi ah, amo niya ang mga gusto. For example, back chip, right? Do you think the next whoever will be the next uh, administration will not ask say, for it? Dora ang kuna na. What will happen? Basta may buy-in ni Gani from our uh, constituents and from, from uh, the city itself, from, from Bacolod Nons. Very hard to change. And the convention is one way of starting it? When you say one way of starting what? <laughs> the buy-in? Yeah, the, the electoral buy process na nga itong ngayon sa convention. Yes. That's really saying... But that is giving equity to... To our... To uh, party members. Party members, that's right. Mm -hmm. Sir... Uh, you just made me understand. Yeah, this is not simply the Albi vision, but the Ascenso vision already. Mm. Wow. But do you think it can... Well, of course, it's a process. Well, they're not used to it. Eh. No, this, mm. this vision on, on party uh, discipline, uh, party policy, uh, party uh, behavior, it's a Because most of them are saying that either white or black. Lang kita. Basta, muna na, muna right we haven't or, seen the PAP. Well, oh, <laughs> basta right kami ha, wrong sila. Maskin, ano na na, no? So, they, they, they don't understand that, you know, uh, uh, one of the reasons why I think people voted for me was because they na sila sa muna eh. no? And you are less confrontational actually when you became mayor. You've never been confrontational. To, to, why, why do you want... Uh, it's not about your opponent. It's about you. <laughs> right? So when, you, when I ran for, for, for mayor of, of Bacolod, it was all about me. What I intend to do, who am I, and uh, what are uh, the things that I will, I will implement. So why do I have to... And do you think that alone... Did it introduce a change in the style of leadership in Bacolod City? Well, could be. Okay, sang una, though, the accusation left and right, no? The gambas na, amoni, amoni. Each one was trying to bring the other person down. But it's not about that. It's about what can you do. So that's why I came here. This is what I can do. It's something different. Ten years from now, for example, if the Albi Benitez 10 years from now will talk to the Albi now. Mm. What will you tell the guy now? 10 years from now. If your future yes, self yes. would talk to yourself now, what will you tell you? Ah, the, I don't know. Maybe you could have done more <laughs> during that time. But I, I think, miskin uh, subong, no? Some of this, I, what I do, what I say, patronage versus institut institutional. Uh, uh, governance. Governance has always been my my. I always say these things, even uh, when I started twenty two thousand eight. No, wala pa ko to uh, na elect as congressman na ga ano pa lang ko gatiyog pa lang ko. I've already been mentioning this. So that's what more than ten years, right? That's about more. sixteen years ago. Yeah. So I'm still saying the same thing sixteen years ago. I think you can check. Sa mga interviews ko sa una, exactly the same pa rin. No? Ang, ang, uh, it was no chip at that time. Now it's back chip. So if yeah. you look at uh, what I have been doing in the past decades, are still very relevant and I'm still doing them. Mayor Albi Benitez, sir, thank you so much. Thank you.